So she understand and know what we're seeing here. First, this is a boiler. This was pretty much like a kettle that heats up water. So what are you guys looking at here? You're like a manifold. And this is a heat exchanger. Heat exchangers come from many different sizes. Um, small, large, I mean, way bigger than this. These are very common, usually in buildings. Um, a heat exchanger can heat exchange anything. I mean, in this case, we're talking about um, chilled water, hot water. Um, but you can pretty much use it for many different applications. This is the manifold. We have press fittings. You guys can see a press bulb out. We have a union. We have a relief out. A flow switch. Why a flow switch? We want to make sure there's flow of water right here. Because we have a heat exchanger. And if you overheat the water, it starts making steam. This is not a steam system. It's a hot water system. And what happens, you can burn out the actual coil. So this just ensures this flow that water is moving. If this doesn't um, sense any moving water, it's going to shut the system down to protect it from burning itself out or causing a fire or any internal damage. What makes the water flow? Circulator pump. Circulator pump is very simple. All it is is exactly what it says. The circulator pump circulates water. It's moving water. It needs circulation. Um, an expansion tank. This has a diaphragm built in. And what it does is when you heat water, water expands. So think of it like us. Us human beings, we got a diaphragm. We're breathing. So it's the same thing. So if the system is breathing, you need some sort of a diaphragm. And this is what, what you exactly what you need. Now, if this diaphragm pops and there's no room for expansion, then you have what's called a relief valve. And a relief valve is going to do what? Relief water. And that's exactly what a relief valve does. So I'll just give you a little FYI so you guys can identify the parts. You know what they are. Because a lot of people see this and like, I don't even know what this shit is. It looks like a big metal block. But it's actually called a heat exchanger.